What's up guys? This video we are going to discuss uh, order of convergence. So we want to measure the rate of convergence of a sequence. So we until so far we have learned a lot of methods, for instance bisection, uh, iterative process and fixed point iterative process method, right? So in all methods uh, we generated a sequence a sequence right so we want to uh, we want to measure the rate of convergence of those sequences so for that so we have to learn these things so so we can measure how fast that a sequence converges to the limit right so first one uh, suppose uh, so Wait a second. Uh, let's take a take a sequence. X n is a sequence, real sequence. That sequence converges to this value x star. So uh, right as n tends to infinity. So we want to measure the rate of convergence, right? So so if that sequence uh, converges to x star in this way. That means if there exists a constant C which is less than 1 and there exists a constant C which is less than 1 and an integer in such that so this inequality holds uh, whenever uh, all terms greater than n right so we say that sequence uh, converges to x star linearly. So let's take a couple of examples to understand these definitions, right? Here, look at this example. So this is a sequence. Uh, so here, this is the general term. General term is one over two to the n. So we know that as n tends to infinity, this term. The sequence uh, converges to zero, right? So let's uh, check this condition here. So, so distance between the n plus one term and the limit. This is uh, this is actually the error at the n plus one stage, right? This is the error at n plus one stage. So let's uh, compute this one and the error. So this is the distance between n, n stage and the actual limit, right? So the distance between these two is gives you gives you the error at the n stage. So let's compute these two, right? These two terms. So here I computed this one. This one gives so this distance is one over two to the power n plus one. The limit is here zero, right? And so because uh, because this term is not equal to zero, that's why I talk about the ratio of that those two quantities, right? So when you take the ratios, a uh, ratio of those two quantities, so you get somehow one half, right? So so the limit, uh, so this does not depend on n. Then uh, when you take the limit, both sides, uh, you get one half because this is a constant term, right? So the limit of this one, this ratio, is equal to one half, which is less than one this constant this one is less than one then then we can say this sequence converges to zero linearly right so this sequence converges to this sequence converges to zero linearly so if you take a look at the second definition if the function, if the sequence converges uh, super linearly, means uh, yep, 
so that quantity this quantity goes uh, when you if this bit is not equal to zero then you can talk about the ratio by ratio of the error of n plus one stage and uh, n plus uh, n uh, error of n stage so you can compute the ratio of those two quantities right and um, and if you take the limit of that ratio if the limit is equal to zero then we say that sequence that sequence converges super linearly right so this is the definition right i think many of you does not i think you are not familiar with this definition it is better to familiar get familiar these definitions uh, right or you can use uh, this one here so take the ratio if this term is not equal to zero then you can compute the ratio of uh, two errors two consecutive errors right so this is the limit this is your x star right so this sequence converges to this way uh, this uh, x star right super linearly then the limit of this uh, ratio should be equal to zero so let's uh, look at this uh, this sequence here so this is the general term of the sequence so as you can see uh, as n tends to infinity uh, the sequence converges to zero right so now we are going to measure so we want to get an idea about uh, how fast that sequence converges to zero right so let's check that uh, by computing two consecutive errors so this is the error of the n plus one stage this is the error of n nth stage right so compute that this is the limit of the sequence limit of the sequence is zero so you know that this is the denominator the denominator becomes uh, very large when you consider large uh, n values large values of n right as n tends to infinity this uh, sequence approaches zero right so compute this uh, ratio because why I can compute this ratio is uh, because this denominator does not equal zero for all and that's why I could compute this ratio right all right so compute this ratio then you can simplify this and you simplify that get 1 over 3 to the power 2 plus 1 so you know that this con uh, this uh, this one depends on n this time so when you take the limit both sides right as n tends to infinity this term what happened to this term this term getting smaller and smaller here uh, goes to zero right therefore 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 the sequence the sequence a converges to zero super linear so that holds this definition here right so let's so in order to understand this uh, quadratic convergence let's take uh, another ex uh, let's take another example so let let's uh, uh, Talk, uh, talk an example for quadratic convergence uh, so let's uh, uh, all right uh, let's consider this uh, sequence uh, okay let's consider this sequence xn so this is the general term one 
over 2 to the 2 to the power n, right? This one. So you know that this sequence converges to 0 as n tends to infinity, n tends to infinity, right? So, so let's compute two errors, two consecutive errors. Cheese, so the error at the n plus 1 stage is this one. Uh, the error of uh, the error at the nth stage is this. Distance between the nth term of the sequence and the limit of the sequence. Right? This is the error. Alright. Alright. So let's compute that. Uh, let's square this one here, right? The bottom one. So this bit would be 1 over 2 to the uh, 2 uh, n plus 1 and the bottom one 1 over 2 to the uh, 2 and everything squared everything squared uh huh all right simplify that let's simplify that so this is the denominator and this goes down so 1 over 2 to the uh, 2n plus 1 times the denominator. So 1 over denominator of de denominator uh, goes to the top, right? So 2 to the 2n times 2 to the 2n. Right, this one. Right? So when you simplify this, you get, so denominator 2 to the power 2n plus 1. So the numerator will be 2 to the power 2n plus 1. Same thing. You can cross this off. You end up with having 1. Right? Take the limit. So this does not depend. This does not depend on n. Then the limit of this ratio would be 1. The limit goes to infinity. That ratio the error at n plus 1 stage divided by error at n stage squared is 1, right? So that means, that means this inequality, this one, this one holds. Therefore, therefore, the sequence converges to 0 quadratically, right? So this is an example for quadratic convergence, right? I hope you understood uh, this part. So this sequence converges to x star linearly, which is very small. But this one is a little bit faster than previous one. So this sequence converges to x star super linearly. So this one is this condition. This super linear converges convergence uh, a bit is a bit faster than faster than the uh, the linear convergence, right? But quadratic convergence is much more faster than the previous convergences right all right so you can define any quadratic or you can change so you can define any convergence order here so here so in this course yep you can define more than quadratic convergence here 
so sometimes so so you can yep sometimes it is the convergence order could be four five six so those are very fast to that this convergence right linear superlinear quadratic convergence right so i hope you understood this bit this is more small summary uh, of uh, of rate of convergence how do you measure that rate of convergence of a sequence right